of you are already here. You beat me here. Welcome, welcome. It's Thursday night, nine o'clock. Time for our YouTube live craft and chat with Monarch Mom and Magnolia Design Co. So as you're hopping on, let me know in the chat that you're here. Hello, Judy and Tina and Rita. Thanks so much for being here. I see we've got about 11 people on. Four people have done the thumbs up. Thanks so much for giving the video a thumbs up and for coming back each and every week. Um, that lets YouTube know people are enjoying what I'm doing on YouTube and they will show it to more people. So welcome. Let me know if this is your first time catching me live here on YouTube. If you don't know, I do have a Facebook page of the same name. I go live there three, three or four times a week. This week it's actually four times doing different projects than what I'm doing here. Hey Patty, hey Sandy and Kimberly and Peggy and Sean, yay! Joanne, Marty, thanks for being here everybody. I so appreciate it. Did anybody catch my live on Facebook today. I still have to finish because um, we went out for our Valentine's dinner. So I have not quite finished everything, but I will post a picture. Head over and make sure you're following my Facebook page so you can um, stay up to date on all those things as well. Yay, thanks for being here. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so, so much. All right, so I want to start today's video after saying thank you for being here. Um, I want to let you know the things that, the new stencils that are available to you starting yesterday on my website. And I'm going to show those to you. I'm going to show you a project I made with one of them. We're going to use another one of them tonight. And then I'm going to tell you about a special bundle that uh, Magnolia has. So let's start with the smallest one. This is called One Cross. Hello, Gala. It's a five by seven. It says one cross, three nails, four given. This is a new five by seven that is available to you right now on my website. The new 2023 Spring Minis. These are super cute. A lot of the sayings and pictures are different than last year's. If you were with me last year and got these last year, I like that there's um, some more general spring ones, like this whole top row right here and pretty much the whole top half. And then you've got Easter, you've got um, secular Easter and then some religious Easter ones. So these are cool. You get 12 little images on one eight and a half by 11 sheet. This one is called Bunny Happy Easter. And you can see I've got some ink stain on this one, which doesn't hurt the stencil at all. I'll still be able to use that. The mesh is not plugged. It's just, I notice pink and purple inks tend to stain a little bit more. But this is a project we made, gosh, I don't even remember what day this was. Was this, this might have been yesterday. <laughs> I think this was yesterday on Facebook uh, or, or it was Monday. Anyway, you'll have to go back on my Facebook page, but we made these, we used the bunnies on here, but we inked them on some canvas and I did a front and a back when I cut them out and then these are stuffed with just a little bit of polyfill. Super cute, right? And then I used a couple of these new little carrots from Dollar Tree. I did stencil the words with chalk paste right onto my sign and then went around it with some, um, what is this called? Rick Rack. Yeah, I know. I'm super busy. I don't even know what day I do what project, which kind of makes me very happy. So this is called Bunny Happy Easter. This is just a different way you can use it. So that is also available right now. Um, the Bunny Beaded Garland. Okay, you got a pink tag, all these colored beads. You also have five bunny or peep looking uh, beads some yellow and white gingham ribbon and the jute twine to make a really cute beaded tag garland like for a tiered tray lay it on top of a book stack that type of thing 
All right, then the last one we're going to use tonight. I'm so excited for this one. You guys know I love the scripture um, stencils, and this one's huge. It's 12 by 18. It's the entire chapter of Psalm 23. So down here it says, the Lord is my shepherd. On the side, it says Psalm 23 at the bottom, and then it's got a really nice readable font all the way um, of the entire psalm. So we're actually going to use this one tonight. Now, something that Magnolia does sometimes, well, they started doing for creators, is they put some a bunch of the new stencils in a bundle. And so I was able to order these two weeks ago, February 1st, a bunch of the new stencils that are available to you this week and will be available next week. Well, they have made that bundle open to you. So if you are interested in also getting some of the stencils that will be released in the next week or two, you can go to my website and click on spring bundle number one. You'll get the ones I showed you and the bunny garland. You'll also get spring rolling pin words. Hi, Shannon. You'll get every gift, which is another scripture one, James 117. You'll get the five by seven snuggle bunny. You'll get this one called your choice. It's got one of the old fashioned ladies and it says exercise makes you look better naked, but then again, so does wine. So your choice, <laughs> if that's your humor. And then another 15 by 15 all of our patterns is called leaf filigree pattern or filigree leaf pattern. So that is also included in um, spring bundle number one. So if you're interested in any of those, I encourage you to go head over to my website tonight and um, get that in your cart before any of them are sold out. Hi, Amy. Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you. Busy, busy, busy. We finally got to do our Valentine dinner tonight because we had meetings um, and church events yesterday and Tuesday. So, you know, we went to our normal place. That This is now the third year in a row we've gone, and it was awesome. But I am excited to be here with you. Um... The other thing I wanted to make sure you're aware of, hi Constance, is that uh, yesterday, uh, Wednesday, Magnolia also changed over our creator enrollment kits. They're no longer Valentine, they're now spring. So if you were waiting and you're, you've are you been thinking about joining my team, this is the new $69 kit. So we got Snuggle Bunny in there instead of a Valentine one. We got the spring minis instead of the Valentine minis. We've got black, white, and magnolia green for the chalk paste. Um, this is really cool. They've got a pennant banner in here now instead of the tea towels. And instead of the chalk hearts, we've got these new chalkboard tags and the spring catalog, of course. So that is the $69 kit. Hey, Tracy. And then still the $99 one, you get all of those same things but you get a full size ink, you get the, um, where am I, spray bottle, the stencil, cutting scissors, and the tacky towel. So those are also updated on my website if you are interested. All right, I see we have lots of friends. I see, okay, that's an interesting, uh, hold on one sec. I don't know how to change this to live chat. Uh, all right. Somebody keep an eye on that one. That's an interesting um, profile name for you too. But what I want to do today is I, I've been cleaning my craft room and I've really kind of been wanting to use things that I have rather than always going out and buying a lot of supplies, mostly because I want to just clean out, declutter, you know, and there's very usable stuff. And one of the things I have a hard time getting rid of are wrapped canvases. One moment. Okay. All right. Sorry. Just needed to remove a troll. All right. Let me know if that person shows back up. Um, anyway, it wrapped canvases because... Uh, even if you don't like anymore what what was painted on it, um, you can paint over it, or you can remove the canvas, use the wood frame for something else, or make a canvas on it, uh, a picture. So this is what we're going to do. I have 
this um okay i have this canvas it had something else on it i just gave it a nice coat of uh plaster and we're going to just kind of take some colors i wanted kind of some dark colors um that uh you guys are gonna have to report him because i can't see his comments anymore I removed him so if you see him you'll have to remove and report that would that would really help me out thank you so much um, we're gonna do kind of a collage type of background painting and then we're gonna do the stencil on top of a reverse canvas so I'm gonna show you the first step I kind of wanted to do greens and blues as the background for Psalm 23 I just felt like he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Greens and blues are kind of going in my head. So what I want to do, and this is not like um, a super technical <laughs> painting that I'm going to do. I'm going to angle this down. Thank you for reporting, you guys. Sorry about that. I wish I had control over that, but unfortunately I do not. So I'm just taking three different blues that are apple barrel and I'm just gonna do dots so we're just gonna kind of make this a messy kind of background um, background uh, for our painting for our stencil thank you everyone thanks for being here okay last time I did this I thought I used too much blue at the beginning but the nice thing is you can kind of always come back and this is a large canvas so I'm also going to add a little bit of a lighter blue and maybe I'm just not going to mix my colors as much at least try not to all right then I have three different greens I'm going to do are you coming into craft with us oh I thought I would sneak in and get my computer <laughs> Oh, so let's get some greens on here, too. He was trying to be sneaky, and I called him out. All right. So this one's a uh, Kelly Green. And then we've got a new Shamrock. Yeah, I just thought, you know, let's do... Oh, that one's got a... Yeah, I call that like a paint bugger. Ew. All right, and... do this light green we'll see what happens so basically I've got the blank canvas and then I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth and we'll kind of blend our colors as they as we get to them oops then you start flinging paint everywhere and then what I did before is when my brush started getting really goopy and the colors were looking really muddy is I just I switched to a new brush so I'm just kind of going like in an X pattern see how that's starting to get very gray looking I'm gonna switch to a clean brush so like like I said this is very not technical um this is not anything I learned like in a painting class or anything like that I just wanted a blend of these colors so this is kind of fun you can just do what you want and then like I said when it starts to get kind of muddy. I actually like this one better than the first one I did, but I'm going to show that to you because we're going to do the next steps with um, the one I painted earlier. But the cool thing too is once you get it all blended in, if you find, oh, I really would like some more blue right there, then you just put some more drops of blue. This is looking really cool. I think my other one I really mixed it a lot and this one I'm kind of letting 
the colors stay a little separate. I don't know if that makes sense. Obviously, I'm not an art teacher. I just kind of do what I feel and see what it looks like. Okay, so I really like that you can see the brush strokes. There's a couple places where it's a little thick, but I really feel like I want some more blue. So I'm just going to do a few more drops, maybe in some of these heavier green areas. All right, what do we think about that? You guys see, doesn't that look cool? I wanted it dark enough that I could use white chalk paste for my stencil. What do you guys think? Yeah, it is, it is pretty, isn't it? Thank you. All right, so unfortunately though, we're gonna move this one aside because I can't speed up time and make it dry faster. So I'm gonna put it over here on my chair to dry. And then I'm gonna show you the one I did earlier. I, I like this one too. I let it dry, it's a bit darker. I didn't use, I only used um, four colors. I used the two darker blues and the two darker greens. And then once it was dry, I did spray it with a clear spray. You guys like that one but instead of stenciling right on this actually let me just oh let me just wipe up a little bit of paint here real quick all right all right what I want to do is I want to cut the canvas off of the frame all right, so we're gonna actually do a reverse canvas and part of the reason I'm doing that is because of the size of my stencil. Now you could just stencil this right down the middle here and have all this extra, but I kind of want to make the frame a little narrower by putting the canvas on the back of the frame. So if you've never seen this done, all I'm gonna do is take my little knife and I'm cutting on the outside of the staples. Okay, and then do the same thing on all four sides. Sometimes you're pretty close to the edge of the frame. And be very careful that you don't slide off and cut yourself. And on these corners, they do take a little bit of extra work because the canvas is folded over. Now we did, was that last week? We did um, the, the marker painting. Oops, I'm getting paint on me everywhere. What I forgot to do is get my little jar of water for my paint brushes to sit in. So I'm just gonna put this baby wipe here and hopefully contain them there for right now. All right, so then what you're gonna do is just start peeling the canvas. And then on the corners, you might have to hack at it a little bit just to get through the layers. Okay. All right, so there's one corner. So this is why if I find canvases, nice canvases, like you know you know what are the nicest ones? The ones where people can um, do online where they send in pictures and the company sends them back a wrapped canvas. Oh my goodness, those frames are so nice. The wood under there they are really, really nice. So, you know, who cares if you don't like the picture of it? If you can pick them up, somebody's getting rid of them at a garage sale or something, get them. Because you can do a lot of cool things with these canvases. 
All right, sorry, I'm just like chatting while I'm trying to get the canvas off of here. Okay, Whew. there we go. All right, so now I've got my frame and I have my canvas. Okay, we're just gonna set this aside for a minute because I do, that was last week, okay. And see then on, on Facebook today, I also did something with canvases. Cause like I said, I'm trying to repurpose things that I have that have just been sitting in my cupboards. Cause I knew I wanted to do something with them. All right. Yeah, those were really fun. Those small ones. This is definitely a larger one. Good, Rita. I'm so glad you keep track for me. I have to like, I should probably, and I think I said this last week, start writing down what I do on which day. Oh, no worries, Sheila. You can always go back and watch the replay. Um, another tool that's helpful for this project is just some pliers. You can help grab the, the canvas off. Okay. So, get all these little strips. All right. Then, this is another tool that's very helpful for this. It's a, it's a staple remover. And you can kind of dig under, and then it loosens it up. Now, usually, this is what happens. I get one side up, and then I have to grab my pliers to get it the rest of the way out. But this tool makes it so much easier. I used to do it. I, I think I probably told this story before. I used to try to do this with a um, flat head. Oh gosh, flat head screwdriver, and it, it was terrible. It was really, really hard. All right. Now, if you're just making this for you, make and you don't care what the back looks like. You don't have to get all the staples out, um, but we are going to be re-stapling the canvas to the back here. So what I don't like is when I'm trying to staple and I've got other, the old staples are kind of in my way. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to take the extra couple minutes. You guys can chat away, ask questions. You're gonna do the marker painting next week. Oh, yay! I hope you'll po put pictures. Either post, you can post them. Um, um, whoa, my drink. Uh, you can post them on my Monarch Mom DIY um, customer group. My Monarch Mom's Magnolia customer group. I have people that will post pictures of what they what they do. Uh, based on, you know, projects I've shown and stuff like that. All right. Sorry, I know this is not the most fun thing to watch, but I really feel like it contributes to the overall effect of the finished, finished product. Everyone's having a great week. I just, um, I just actually got a phone message that uh, our schools are closed tomorrow because of bad weather. We had a dumping of snow today, and the roads are pretty bad, and so they have canceled school for tomorrow, which that's kind of nice for my daughter, my youngest. It means she can sleep in tomorrow. But hope everyone else is having a fun weekend. Size is the frame. Oh, I don't think I said it is a 16 by 20. So um, the stencil is 12 by 18. Uh, would fit fine on here, but I kind of wanted to frame it out more, which is why I'm taking the extra step, burning the extra calories. <laughs> Seriously. 
getting all these staples out of here. This is a good thing to do if you're frustrated and need to get some uh, some energy out. Okay. Oh, got one more left on this side I missed. Okay. All right. Whew. Oh, flooding. Oh, gosh. No, ours is just icy roads. And actually, my husband was on his way home this afternoon and was turning. We have what's called Michigan Lefts here. We have a lot of streets where you can't make a left turn onto them. You have to make a right turn and then basically do a U-turn. And he did the U-turn and the car didn't stop turning. And thankfully he was not hurt. The car was fine. But um, he had to have a couple guys came and pulled him in the car out of the ditch. So, yeah, it's, it's no joke. And I think they really prefer to not have people out driving, especially school buses. So, anyway... Everybody stay safe. Flooding, snow, ice. We're just ready for spring to get here, right? Ugh. I'm ready to be done getting these staples out. Almost. So what I want to do is I want to darken up this frame with some antique wax, which is really quick and easy to do with the baby wipe method. What, um, what's your favorite stencil that I showed of the new, new spring ones? Anybody have a favorite? I'd love to know what your favorites were. And I can show them again if you weren't on. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Look, it's got a, whoops. It's got like a knot hole right there. That gives it some personality. All right. Baby wipes and antique wax what I do is we're just gonna take one and we're gonna kind of oh you like the 23rd Psalm the bunnies okay I'm just gonna dip it in and then we're just gonna use it wet to apply our antique wax to our wood frame so this is kind of like doing the brush on, wipe off all in one step. And I didn't sand this or anything, so it's it's pretty rough in some places. It's kind of a rough cut frame, but I kind of like that. There are a couple staples on the front. You could Cover those up with something if you want it in the corners or just leave them. Oh, that's okay. She, yeah, MSU. I know. And then, um, yeah, that's not very far from us. Like maybe an hour, hour and a half. So, and we have, a. Uh, we have a kiddo in college right now. He's living on campus. So it kind of, you know, makes you really appreciate each day that you're given. All right, so now I'm just tipping it up. I'm going to do the inside of the frame. I'm going to do everywhere except the back where we took the staples off because that's going to get covered up by the canvas anyway. This method really does, um, it dries faster, I think. Also, then if you do the brushing it on and then wiping it off with the paper towel. Sorry, I know the angle's kind of weird right now. You can't really see, but I'm doing the outside edges now of the frame. Then I'll clean my hands and we will do our stencil. I think I'm going to go ahead and stencil on the canvas um, before we uh, oh gosh, attach the canvas to the frame. 
You can do either way. But I think just for the sake of time and we can keep things moving along, we will set this aside to dry. And that looks pretty good. If there's some areas you want it a little darker, you can go back over it again. But I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I love doing reverse canvases. I think they look so cool. So, so cool. All right. Yeah, it is. So this is Waverly Antique Wax. The great thing about it is it does not smell like stain. It easily comes off your hands. And, um, oh, no worries, Pam. You can come back and watch the replay. It'll be here forever on YouTube. All right, my hands are mm, clean enough. All right, so we've got that. Now we're going to set this here to dry. Kind of hang it there. And let's bring back our canvas. Now, what I want to do so that this will lay fairly flat is I'm going to cut around the edge. I know, Rita, for sure. Stain, regular stain just smells so gross. I don't like it. Great, so I'm just cutting the basically the part of the canvas that was wrapped around the sides of the frame. It's still a tiny bit tacky from the clear spray I did, but we'll just make sure we fuzz our stencil really well. Okay. All right, so that can go in the trash. That little bit is all we're going to throw away in the staples. All right, so now I'm going to use my measurements here on my mat. 16 inches, so 12 inches is, well, the middle is 8. And I'm going to try to get the stencil centered as much as possible. So let's get our tacky towels. Going to need a couple because it's a long one. Okay, and we'll write the name of our stencil on the back. Oh, good, Patricia. Psalm 23. All right, and I'm going to use, like I said, I just want to use white chalk paste. So we're going to get that. All right. I'm going to be really careful not to let the stencil stick to itself. And we're going to fuzz it. We're just going to get some, a little bit of fuzz on the back of the stencil from our little towels here. And this will keep it from sticking too much to our canvas, which I did do a clear kind of a glossy spray. So that to me is extra sticky. So I'm going to want to fuzz this pretty good. Like, cause I've never used the stencil. It's brand new. We're going to want to do this at least four times. Okay. Cause what we don't want to happen is that it's so stuck on here that we end up stretching it to try to get it off the canvas. Because if you stretch your stencil, then your words look weird and and all that. So right now the tacky towel is sticking to it a little bit. <sighs> all right, a couple more times. Let's get some fuzz on here. Oh, I'm excited to see what this looks like. Yeah, you hear how sticky that still is? That's a good stencil, man. Get lots of uses out of this thing. 
one card. All right. I want to make sure nothing is stuck on the mesh part of the stencil, like where you're going to want the paste to go. So if it does, you just pick those little guys off. All right. I think we're going to do one more and then we're going to lay this guy down on our canvas that we painted earlier. All right. Hopefully that's pretty good. Okay. Now, I'm just going to try to get it lined up, knowing that my frame, you know, is about an inch. Okay, so now I'm pressing it down to get out any air bubbles. Hopefully it's not too sticky. Okay, I think we'll be all right. Oh, this is gonna be so pretty. Now I do see some little bumps where things are stuck under my stencil, but they're not where the letters are. And even when you've got little letters like this, it's good to just take the extra minute or two See how I'm, I'm pressing on each line of the verses to make sure my stencil is good and stuck down so that my words will be nice and crisp, okay? All right, so I think what I'm going to do is turn this sideways so I can pull the lines of words towards me. I think that'll be a little more natural. I will start with the, the Lord is my shepherd here. I'm excited. If this works, I'm going to probably make some of these for my craft show, which is in a couple months. All right, there's our title. Let's get Psalm 23. Okay, so I'm just gonna start here, work my way down, and then kind of go back and get any excess off. So excited to see how it turns out. Are you guys excited? So I'll do this one that I'm stenciling with you and then I will do another one on the one that I painted during this live. It's a little bit lighter of a background Okay, I'm just going to get any excess, put that back in my little jar. I'm just going very lightly. Okay, drum roll. Okay, the big reveal, yes. All right, now I'm thinking, I sure hope I got this straight. So what I wanted to do is stencil this before we got it on the frame. <gasps> Can you guys see it? I need an extra hand. It is 
perfect. Can you guys see that? It looks like a poster. Like, seriously, that I went and bought at a store. <laughs> you were trying to help me. That's so funny. Oh my goodness, seriously. This is beautiful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love it. Do you guys love it? Yes, it's so pretty. So pretty. And then, okay, once it's all dry, because I don't want to mess anything up, then look it. Then we staple it to the back of the frame. Gorgeous. So pretty. Wow. I am super excited. Stands out on the background colors, right? I know, it's so pretty. Let's see if I can hold it up. Whoops, where are we? Oh my goodness. So pretty. All right, so that is the project I had for you. So look for those canvases. And really all I did is you can go back and watch. I just took, so for this one, I only did these two darker blues. So Apple Barrel, I did Cobalt Hue and Bright Blue. These are the two blues I used. And the two greens were New Shamrock and Kelly Green. So those are the four colors I used on this one. And then the other one that we did, let me show it to you. It's a little bit lighter, but I still think the white's gonna look really pretty on it. I added in blue bonnet, a little bit of a lighter blue, and spring green for a little bit of a lighter green. So once this is dry, I'll spray the clear spray on it and um, do the stencil again. What do you guys think? And then we'll take the frame off, we'll stain the frame, and then we'll staple the frame or staple the canvas to the back of the frame. I love it so much. All right, so since some of you weren't on, real quick, let me show you again. Now you want this stencil, right? This stencil, with um, white chalk paste. That's what I used, white chalk paste. Now we do have frames that are this size that would fit this, but I kind of like using other things. So make something unique for someone. Maybe somebody really likes purples and reds. Um, you could do the background with a couple different shades of purple, a couple different shades of red or whatever colors and then do your stencil over the top. If you wanna use light colors, you could stencil it with black or a darker color. So anyway, wow, we got 90 people on. Oh, so this stencil is available now. The other ones that are available now are the beaded garland with the bunnies, the happy or bunny happy Easter, which I used the other day to make this project, we did the bunnies on canvas and made little stuffies and then stenciled the words at the bottom there. And then the other two are the new spring minis for this year and this one called One Cross. So those are all available now on my website. I put the link. There's also a spring bundle that includes those and more stencils. If you want to get them a little bit early, you can um, check that out as well. All right, everybody. I will be live again on my Facebook page tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern. So I hope you will see me over there tomorrow. And everybody have a great night. Bye.